Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 31st of 2021. Well, it is titled dark matter in a simulated universe. So what do we see here? Well, here is a computer simulation of the universe. And it shows a number of different things. The clumps of material uh, that we see are actually galaxy clusters. So we see the bright dots of galaxies and galaxy clusters that are very concentrated together. Ordin those are the ordinary matter, the normal material that we're used to looking at in images and what we see in everyday life. And those are very concentrated together in just small parts of the universe and vast parts of the universe really then have nothing in them, no ordinary matter at all. However, what we see connecting them and concentrated around them are the filaments of dark matter. Now dark matter is a very important thing to be able to explain a number of observations in astronomy. It can explain how the galaxies rotate and why they rotate much faster than they otherwise would according to our understanding of gravity. We also look at clusters of galaxies and observe how they move and they're moving much too fast to remain together just based on the amount of material that is present there. So far more gravity is needed and that is used the dark matter to explain that. And in both of those cases, it is many times the amount of matter that we see within the galaxies. So if we see a galaxy there or several galaxies, we need another 10, 50, or even 100 galaxies worth of matter in order to explain the amount of gravity that must be present to explain the existence of the galaxies and clusters. Another way we do this is gravitational lensing. When we see gravitational lensing, the galaxies are bending light from more distant galaxies. And that tells us the amount of bending tells us about the mass of that galaxy cluster. And it's always a lot more than what we can see with the galaxy again, implying that there is a lot of dark matter out there. And that's what we see is these filaments stretching across across the universe in this case. And notice how the galaxies themselves are concentrated within those dark matter pockets. So what we think is that the dark matter began to co coalesce early on before the ordinary matter could begin to collapse and condensed into certain areas. And then the ordinary matter fell into those gravitational wells, giving us the structures that we see with galaxy clusters and great voids in the universe that we see today. So dark matter is one of those very unusual substances that is very that we really don't know a lot about. We don't know exactly what makes this up, except that it is not part of anything that we know. So it can't be ordinary stars. It cannot be black holes. It cannot be other types of objects like that. It has to be something completely mysterious and different than the ordinary matter that we're used to looking at. And it is not even the most unusual uh, substance in the universe because we also have dark energy, which is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate uh, based on more recent observations. So we have dark matter and dark energy, which combined make up about 96% of the mass and energy of the universe, leaving only just a few percent for the ordinary matter that we're used to seeing in the stars and nebulae and galaxies that we often look at. So that was our picture of the day for October 31st of 2021. It was titled Dark Matter in a Simulated Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Waterfall Milky Way. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.